My name is Rio and welcome to another match day vlog. Today Chester City make the venture to Staffordshire as we play Hensford Town the way in the Bills Bait FA Trophy first round where we look to get back to winning ways today. So our form is quite decent at the moment because we've only lost one of our last five matches, but that was last weekend, so we do need to get back to winning ways today and also we need to uh, go on quite a lengthy FA trophy run this season. So it should be a cracking game today so of course I do hope you enjoyed today's match day vlog make sure to like subscribe and comment down your thoughts on the game below so without further ado let's get into today's video right now enjoy <laughs> Like I say, today's game is not going to be easy at all because hence we are a very good side and they will be looking to cause a big upset today. So we need to put on the 90 minutes performance and also we need to play our strongest 11 possible because we have got some uh, tough matches coming up over the Christmas period. And the last thing we do want is a replay at the 1885 Arena on Tuesday night. So we need to uh, take this game seriously and we need to progress to the uh, second round where we could play any round anyone from Gateshead to Torquay to uh, Dover so yeah looking forward to the match today so our last match was last weekend where we lost 2-0 away at Darlington and what was a terrible uh, performance by us it was a miserable day all round so the first half was terrible by us we just never got going at all and Darlington were all over us and after just 15 minutes Darlington's early dominance shown as Omar Holness made it 1-0 to Darlington so he uh, lobbed the ball over us Chris his drum a tight angle uh, not too dissimilar to Mo Salah's goal the other night actually so a decent goal by Omar Holness but still from our point of view a poor goal to concede and things got, uh, got even worse on the stroke of half time as Joel Taylor scored an own goal to make it 2-0 to Darlington so uh, the initial cross went in Russ Griffiths fumbled it and Joel Taylor actually diverted it into his own net so again a bad goal to concede so, uh, so on to half time then and the second time half actually got delayed by half an hour because as soon as the half time whistle went all eight of the floodlights went out so it took about 10 minutes for them to come back on they all came on one by one but as soon as the eighth and the final floodlights came on they all went off again so you know uh, for us we wanted the match to uh, be abandoned because we would have had another chance to turn things around but uh, yeah after half four the, uh, the second half finally went on uh, because the uh, seventh uh, the eighth floodlights couldn't come on but you know the pitch was still view uh, viewable so the second half eventually uh, got underway and I think it was a lot better than the first half we had a lot of chances and the, uh, the closest we went was when a quality Santa hits the post for us and a few moments later Danny Liberty actually scored a disallowed goal so it was a decent header by him but it was ruled out for offside for us so we had a lot of chances in the second period but our finishing was just not there last weekend and eventually we lost 2 nil. so a terrible day and we need to uh, be a lot better today. It will take about an hour and a half to get to Hensford from here so it is a nice short journey for us and it makes a difference to her recent weeks where we played the likes of Darlington, Brackley away twice and uh, Kings Lynn and Blythe Spartans away so we have had a lot of lengthy journeys in recent weeks but it is a nice short journey uh, for us today. So Hensford Town play at Keys Park which is also known as the PRG Roofing and Construction Stadium for sponsorship purposes so it holds 6,039 and it's a really nice stadium so I have been there before I only went a few weeks ago back at the start of October where Hensford Town beat Blythe Spartans 4-2 in the FA Cup so that day uh, they caused a massive shock and uh, Chester FC didn't have a match that day due to our uh, you know due to the FA Cup so we never had a game because we were knocked out so I went to Hensford a few weeks ago it's a nice stadium nice and tidy and considering the pitsmen only play one league below us I think 
he's actually a League 2 standard in my opinion, so it's a great stadium. So, on one side they have the main stand, which is a covered all to stand. It is raised above pitch level, so you can get a nice view of the action, and also it does straddle the halfway line. So, to the left-hand side and to the right-hand side, we have got two open flat standing areas. So, opposite the main stand is the Wimblebury Terrace, which is a covered terrace, and it's nice and large. It holds around 1,000 people, so you can make a nice atmosphere there as well. So it's a nice covered terrace. Behind one goal is the Heath Hayes End, which again is another covered terrace, and it's very similar to the Wimblebury Terrace because you can make a nice atmosphere, and and it is quite big as well. And behind the other goal is the Hensford End, which is a uh, covered seat to stand, and it uh, goes right behind the goal. It's just right behind it, and to the left hand side and to the right hand side, we've got two open flat standing areas once again. So today's match is going to be segregated, which means that we will be allocated the Hensford end, half of the Wimblebury Terrace and also uh, um, the left uh, hand side flat standing area of the main stand as well. So we will have a nice, uh, we'll have, you know, we'll have a lot of space today and also we should be taking a healthy following as well, I'd say around 300. So it should be a great game today. Looking forward to going to this stadium once again and we need a big win to cap it off. <laughs> Hensford Town play in the Betfic, the Southern Premier League Central, which is just one league below us, and so far this season, uh, they have done really well in both the league and the cup, because in the league, they're currently in a comfortable playoff position with a number of games in hand, so if they do manage to win those matches in hand, then uh, they could be top, you know, they could go above Tamworth, and also in the FA Cup, they got to the uh, for four qualifying rounds it was uh, because they got beat by Boston United so they went on a lengthy run in the FA Cup and also in the FA Trophy they're doing quite well so far because they have won a few matches to get to the first round proper which of course is today so they have done really well so far this season uh, they are a good footballing side because as you all may know I did watch some beat Blythe Spartans a few weeks ago and Blythe are one league above Hensford so just like us and Hensford were all over Blythe that day they outplayed them and they they, were to, uh, they deservedly won that day, so they are, they're a very good footballing side, uh, they're a dangerous attacking side as well, so they will get into us today. And also, there was a bit of sad news a few weeks ago, because at the start of December, Hensford's manager, uh, Gary Hayward, actually left the club due to budget cuts. That was a big shock, because obviously Hensford are doing really well this season, but he actually left a few weeks ago. So due to that, uh, currently Ben Bailey and Danny Glover are joint players slash caretaker manager. And it was their first match in charge last weekend, and hence would actually beat Hitchin Town at home 4 2. So they'll be looking to get another win today. It won't be an easy game at all, and we, not, uh, we must be on our guard to avoid a massive shock. When you love someone, it's natural. Not we have played against Hensford Town four times before and as you all may know a few years ago when we got three forms we won three consecutive promotions and we uh, virtually beat nearly every single team but Hensford uh, they are a bit of a bogey team for us because uh, back in the 2011 to 2012 season we played them three times and we won the EFO Stick Premier League that season as you all may know but we actually lost all three match uh, matches against Hensford so uh, yeah they were a bit, a bit of a bogey team for us but our last match against them was back on July the 21st 2015 and that was a 2-1 away win in a pre-season friendly so finally we broke uh, that duck and hopefully we can record our back-to-back -back win against Hensford today but they are a bit of a bogey team which is something we must be aware of but hopefully uh, we can repli uh, replicate that 2-1 win a few years ago of course this afternoon. My score prediction for today's clash is Hensford Town 1, Chester FC 2, so I think we'll get another 2-1 uh, win so for Hensford. I think Danny Glover will score for them, and for the Blues, I think Danny Liversey and Anthony Dudley will score for us today. So it won't be an easy game, I think Hensford will play some nice football, so they'll be playing it on the deck because they have got a fantastic pitch there. Uh, David Bates, their groundsman, does a fantastic job, so it should be, uh, so it, uh, should be a great cup tie, and I think we'll win by the odd goal in two. I'm so glad we reached an understanding
Of course, I will be going to the match today, so stay tuned for my match day vlog, which will be coming up right now. So, of course, I do hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down your thoughts on the game if you do enjoy it. It's a big cup tie ahead. Come on, City. Hopefully get to the second round and play anyone like Wrexham if they win today, which I don't think they will, or Torquay, not County. Let's just get that win today. And, yeah, cannot wait. Come on, City. arrived at Keys Park ahead of the game today so once again I think it's a uh, great stadium the pitch is nice and flat as well nice and short so no excuses today so we should be playing some nice football and also with this being an FA Trophy game I think we should play our strongest team possible because Hensford the only one league below us and they will be looking to cause an upset today so we should be put, uh, putting out a strong team today but uh, yeah nice weather for the game today it's a bit chilly but nice and sunny and hopefully uh, create a nice atmosphere as well today so cannot wait for the game now come on city <laughs> Here is your Hensford Town squad for today's game. And here is your Chess FC squad for today's match. We are in a 4-3-3 formation. So in goal is number one, Russ Griffiths. In defence is two, Kevin Roberts. Five, Danny Liversey. Six, Simon Grand. And three, Joel Taylor. In midfield is seven, Brad Jackson. Four, Captain Gary Roberts. And eight, George Glendon. And up front is... 10 Matty Hughes, 9 Aquasio Sante, and 11 Danny Elliott. On the substitutes bench is 12 Alton Negretala, 14 Jamie Morgan, 15 George Waring, 16 Matty Waters, 17 James Jones, 18 Anthony Dudley, and 20 Gary Stop. Fourth, enjoy the vlog, come on, City. Hey. 
Hensford had just uh, gone close to making it 1-0. We gave the ball away and Hensford had a decent chance on the edge of the area. The chance went just wide, but an early warning sign for us. Oh! Oh! We had a good chance there. The cross went in and Hensford to clear it away. It's been a bit of a quiet game so far. It's a scrappy match, but we're starting to get into it now. Go on, shoot! Oh. I think it was George Glendon who tried to have a chance there and Pence are on the counter attack now. A bit, bit, a bit of a slow start to the match, but it's starting to come to life now. A few sloppy mistakes by both defences. Go on, Joel. Oh, great ball by Joel Taylor headed away. We're starting to be a lot better now. We're starting to, you know, pass the ball around nicely. We're stretching. Pence for Dalton there, starting to look a little bit tired. And this is what I'm talking about now. Oh, oh that was a. Ball, ball by Kevin Roberts it went way out, way over the goal but we, yeah we are starting to come out on top a little bit more now. Go on Asante, oh close again, uh, this time by Agassi, Asante did really well with the ball and it was a bit of a hooked uh, cross come shot and it went just wide. Danny Glover has just missed an absolute sitter for Hensford. A really poor ball by Danny Liberty. He gave it away and uh, Danny Glover was virtually through on goal but his shots went miles wide. Goals and chance to make it to 1-0 no, but a major let off for the Blues. We can't afford to be making silly mistakes again. Go on Jackson! Oh! So unlucky by Matty Hughes. I thought it went in for a moment. Excellent cross by Brad Jackson. The header by Matty Hughes went just across the face of goal and wide. So close to making it 1 0. We now have a corner on the right hand side, so hopefully we can uh, redeem ourselves for that missed opportunity a few moments ago. So, ball's gone in by Joel Taylor and hence we clear it away and got the ball back on. The head is saved by the keeper. No thanks. Sure. Yeah. Half time, Hensford Town nil, Chester FC nil. So I think the first half has been quite a cagey, scrappy affair so far. Not so many uh, chances off note, and yeah, I think it's been quite an even game so far. So we have, you know, we've had a good chance by Matty Hughes, which went wide header by him. And Hensford, the biggest uh, miss of the game, went to Danny Glover, where he was through on goal, but he had the shots which went miles wide, so he should have done a lot better to make it 1 0 to Hensford. But yeah, I think it's been quite a dire game so far, so we need to do a lot more now because uh, one thing I have spotted is that Hensford are quite, uh, they have, you know, they are quite shaky at the back, so we need to try and you know exploit them a bit more now. So we're doing okay, but we need to do a little bit more now in the final third to you know, try and get a few goals. And also, yeah, big second. It's half ahead. Come on, you blues. Go on, Jacko. Keep going now. Good ball now. To oh, lucky. Decent ball by Brad Jackson, but tends to clear it away. Go on, Lacrosse. Go on. Shoot. Oh! Unlucky. So close by Aquasi Asante. Did really well to hold the ball up. And the fitting oh, shots went just wide, <laughs> nearly 1 0. Go on, hit it! Oh! Unlucky, another good chance then, this time by Brad Jackson. Uh, powerful shots by him was going uh, just about to creep into the back of the net, but the uh, goalie, Andy Batchley, made an easy save. Danny Ellis has just been brought down, so we have a free kick. It's gone in by Glendon, or oh, went to nobody at all. Uh, George Glendon should have done a lot better, but just went to a Hensford player. But we have the ball back. Oh, go on. Handball! Handball! Well, the Hensford player just handballed it then. Uh, we should have had a penalty. Oh, go on, Brad. Play it in now. Go on! Oh, decent ball again. It went to a Hensford play. We're doing so much better in our second half. Uh, we're starting to dominate the game now. So much better. Oh, go on now. Go on, keep going now, Jackson. Brad Jackson doing all the work again. Oh, go on. Sam, Sam. Oh, come on. You have to get that. We should have had a corner then because 
the, uh, the cross went in by Jackson and the goal they actually uh, caught in the uh, Reynolds the pits and well, apparently it's a free kick to Hedgesford but yeah it should have been the corner to us because the goalie caught it, he ran out of the pitch but they have a free kick. Oh, go on now! Good ball! Go on now! Another good ball, Hensford! Oh! Unlucky oh, by Robbo! Headed by Gary Roberts, uh, fourth and eight to say. Out of right to lane. Shoots a quasi! Bit of an ambitious uh, shot by a quasi, as Sansi went wide. Go on, Matty, get to the byline! Go on now! What was that? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. A bit of a bizarre piece of football. Oh, come on! You Terrible decision by the referee. You bit of hands by Stir, but the heads of player went down so easily. But before that, a bit of a weird one because Matty Hughes did really well to get to the byline, but the heads of player like hooked it away, I think. But yeah, another good chance. Oh, Jacko now! Now's the chance! Shoot! Oh, another chance! I think Jackson should have shot there, but he played it to Gary Roberts, but he's a tame shot into the ground for a to save out of Andy Whiteley. Right, Come on now, surely we've got to do it now, Jack O'Shea! Come on, we've got space! Oh, go on! Yeah! Oh, they're joking! Fucking what? Disallowed! Of course, here Sansi has just scored a disallowed goal for Chester FC. So, uh, once again, Brad Jackson's in the goal. The work he did really well to uh, cut inside, and he actually had a shot which the uh, keeper carried out. So, a good save by Andy Wright, actually, again. Uh, but of course, here Sansi, he was just like two yards out, and he did score, but he was offside at the uh, back post. So, we are all over Hensford now. Uh, they actually had a few chances before that, though. I think it was Danny Glover again, he fires just over. so a potential warning sign but yeah we're having all the chances now and we need to uh, deliver go on shoot Gary oh Gary Roberts played his out to Kevin Roberts you have Roberts go on keep oh bit of an awkward bounce there for the keeper but he still managed to catch it we only have three minutes left here but we have a free kick right on the edge of the area to hopefully get a last gasp winner oh Oh, went wide by Alton Nicotala. Looks like it's going to be a replay on Tuesday. Well, that gentleman's had the replay for me on Tuesday night at Chester. Kick off at 7.45. It's a Full time, hence for town nil, Chester FC nil. So, despite our dominance, we couldn't get a winning goal towards the end, which means that there will be a replay on Tuesday night at the 1885 Arena. So, we have another 90 minutes to ensure, but hopefully, we can get the job done. So, more reaction shortly. Hensford Town nil, Chess FC nil. So we really should have won the game today. We had plenty of chances in the second half, uh, just like last weekend at Darlings, and we were there, the much dangerous side, and we easily should have came away with a win today. But we just never, never took our chances. Our shooting was off par today, and we have to do it all over again on Tuesday night at the 1885 Arena. So I thought it wasn't a great game at all today. Thought the second half was a lot better because. 
because the first half was so slow and boring and there was no style in it at all. So I thought hence for town, fair play for them to getting a draw today. I thought they did really well today, they dug in deep, but I thought they were a little bit uh, disappointing. I thought they would be a little bit better today because a few weeks ago when I watched some outplay Blau Spartans in the FA Cup, they were uh, so dominant uh, that afternoon. But I thought today they were a little bit, uh, you know, off the par, but still I thought, you know, they did quite well today and they uh, gave us a few scary moments today. So I thought they were okay, henceforth, but from our point of view, I think a draw is not a disaster. I'm not going to complain too much because we have another good chance to uh, get the tight over and done on Tuesday night at home and hopefully we can uh, go through to the second round. But we did have a good chance today and if so, then, you know, those missed chances could bite us in the backside. So... The first half was a complete ball fest because there were barely any chances at all and the first opportunity of the game actually came just 20 minutes in so it just uh, went, you know, goes to show how slow the match actually was because uh, neither sides really had any quality in them. You know, both Chester FC and Hensford just hoofed the ball up. You know, I thought Hensford, you know, they were quite shaky defensively so we were unable to exploit those gaps. So the, uh, the actual style of play on offer was very dismal and, you know, we just never got going at all in the opening 20 minutes so the first chance did um uh, go to Hensford as it was a poor uh, clearance by Kevin Roberts so that actually went to Osebi Abadaki and the shots by him went just wide so an early warning sign for Hensford and the actual best chance of the first half once again went to Hensford so again another uh, naive clearance defensively this time by Danny Liffesy who just gave the ball away to Danny Glover and how he never scored I'll never know because he was virtually through on goal on the edge of the area should have gone a bit closer maybe but just, uh, he actually actually scuffed his shots wide so a great chance for Hensford to make it 1-0 but again another left off for us and at the other end we had a couple of decent chances of our own because a header by Matty Hughes went across the face of goal so he glanced ahead header wide so again another good chance for us and we did eventually get going in the last 15 minutes of the first half we actually stretched Hensford out because we played some nice football uh, we actually offered some width because the likes of Brez Jackson and of course Kevin Roberts they offered some uh, offers uh, the offer of some whip going forward so we're much more effective in the last 15 minutes of the first half and just before half time a cross comes shots by a quasi Asante went wide so again another decent chance so eventually we did get going but still the first half was quite a dismal dank affair so I thought the second half was a lot better because we were much more improved it was a lot more action packed and going forward we were so more uh, concise and consistent but the only downfall was just like last weekend at Darlington, we couldn't actually find the net, so we had a lot of good chances in the second half. So first of all, a fitting shot by Akwazi Asante went just wide on the 49th minute mark, so an early chance for us, and eventually we kept on going and going and going, and it was that man once again, Brad Jackson, who did all the nitty-gritty hard work on the right hand side, and I think he is, aside from Asante, I think he's one of our best players, because he's so, he's so consistent, week in, week out, he uh, does all the hard work, his pace, he runs up and down the wings, he gets some nice uh, concise crosses in. So once again today he had another great game and again you know he had a few good chances too because a cross by him went uh, ahead of, uh, by, I think it was Matty Hughes went wide and uh, we had, uh, if he had a few other decent chances too. Gary Roberts actually had two uh, good opportunities to head by him, a looping header which nearly went in uh, for the easy save by former AFC Telford United goalkeeper Andy Whiteley who I thought he had a decent game today too he's shown some elements of time wasting in, uh, time wasting in the second half because uh, there were some signs that Hensford were playing for the draw but I think he did make some uh, decent saves to keep, in, uh, keep them in the game today and another chance by Gary Roberts on the edge of the area a bit of a powerful shot again uh, got you know for an easy save out of Whiteley so, so we had a few good chances and our dominance kept on coming and coming and coming forward we have another good chance so Brad Jackson once again did really well to cut inside his initial shot was a uh, force a really good save out of Andy White actually because the ball actually bounced right in front of him beforehand so he had to just parry the ball out and actually ricocheted off Danny Elliott for a goal kick so we had two decent chances in that moment but I'd say we were a bit lethargic in the last 15 minutes because I thought both teams were actually thought the last 15 minutes was uh, just like the opening 15 minutes of the 
the actual game because uh, both sides started to tire off a little bit because hence they were quite tired but uh, we actually sat back far too deep and we invited a lot of pressure and hence they had a few decent chances too because a uh, powerful shots by Kieran Morris went just over and again another chance by Danny Glover uh, missed the target too so we were a bit naive you know defensively I thought we did well today we, you know didn't have loads to do but I thought in the last 15-10-15 uh, 15, 10, 15 minutes of the game we just sat back far too deep we never uh, got out to the ball you know we uh, you know we just let hence with after the possession but uh, thankfully you know their forwards line wasn't as prolific today so uh, yeah just before full time we had a decent chance to uh, get the last uh, minute winner it was a free kick by Joel Taylor which went wide but I thought the actual match wasn't a great affair today but yeah our missed chances proved to be decisive today because you know we just never scored a goal and also uh, just before I do end off today uh, obviously the main talking point uh, was the uh, quality Santi disallowed goal so a bit of a similar one to the uh, Danny Liberty one last weekend at Darlington so uh, I think it was the right decision by the linesman because Brad Jackson the initial uh, shots went in and uh, the goalie uh, Andy Whiteley just um, uh, palmed it you know, to, uh, across the face of the goal and basically uh, Kwasi Asante was lurching at the back post and he did score but uh, sadly the linesman did rule it out for offside so yeah you know we had a lot of good chances but we just didn't take them at all today when it really mattered and we need to you know take them on Tuesday nights now because we have home advantage and we need to uh, progress to the second round <laughs> Our next match was supposed to be AFC Telford United at home next Saturday, but uh, due to today's match ending in a goalless draw, our next match will now be on Tuesday night as we will host Hensford Town at home in the Bills Bates FA Trophy first round replay. So a replay is not ideal for us. I do think Hensford will be the happiest side today, but we do have a decent chance of progress and of, uh, uh, you know, obviously home is advantage and uh, Hensford they are part-time team today, maybe a little bit more time and us but you know it's just a decent chance for us but I think we need to avoid the Southport situation now uh, because last season in the first uh, qualifying ground of the FA Trophy uh, we drew 0-0 away at Southport and uh, we fancied our chances in the replay at the Diva but we actually lost 2-0 uh, in the replay so you know that was a bit of a shock result for us so we need to avoid another Southport on Tuesday night we need to play our strongest possible team and hopefully just get the job done or as Boris says, you know, just get it done. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so looking forward to the game, of course. I will be going to stay tuned for a special match day vlog. So, yeah, it wasn't a great game today, but we need to just get the job done and hopefully progress to the second round. And uh, just before, you know, I forget, the actual draw for the second round is on Monday at lunchtime on TalkSport 2. So stay tuned uh, for that draw. So hopefully we can get a nice draw. And personally, I want us to get a nice Southern away match. I like Torquay United away. Uh, been ages since the last went there maybe just someone Southern away because I miss the Southern away matches now it's been two years since we were last in the National League so I would like a nice Southern away day Torquay uh, Easterly maybe I don't know um, you know there's a lot of nice Southern clubs down there so yeah and I, Yeovil that'll be a nice one as well Yeovil Town away that'll be a great away match so yeah uh, the draw is on Monday and hopefully we can just get the job done on Tuesday night <laughs> Of course, I will be going to the match on Tuesday night, so stay tuned for my match day preview, which will be out on Monday, and of course on Tuesday, I will do a vlog of the Hensford replay, so yes, cannot wait. Of course, I do hope you enjoyed today, uh, today's match day vlog. If so, make sure to give it a like, subscribe and comment down your thoughts on the game below, so we'll have to do it again on Tuesday, another 90 minutes and possibly even penalties. Come on you blues, let's keep the faith and keep our heads up and hopefully just get the job done. <laughs>